Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. I am here today to declare over you in this uh, faithful Friday that the Lord your God will do something new in your life. What he began to do, he will fulfill it because he is God, faithful in his ways. Whatever comes out of his mouth will come to pass. Hallelujah, ministries, sons and daughters of God from around the world. I want you to know who you are and whose you are. You are children of the Most High God. Your Father sits above all circumstances and situations. Nothing but nothing escapes His control. I want here to speak prophetically over you. For God will do something for you because He loves you. I am speaking to you watching me right now in that home. If the enemy wanted by all means to stop you from getting the word today is because Satan knows that God will turn your situation around today. But uh, you have to have faith and receive it by faith. If you will open yourself and receive what God has in store for you tonight by faith, your life will never be the same again. I stand as an authorized man of God. I decree, I declare over you a complete turnaround in the name of Jesus. Now, if you are crying, if you are in a space that is uh, literally sour, you are filled with uh, evidence of pain around you. Every time you open your eyes to consider the happenings around you, you have a pain inside. You are bleeding inside because of a loss, the loss of a loved one, because of uh, the enemy attacking you uh, left, right, and center. You may say that your finances are not as it's supposed to be. You are going through difficulties. You are calling on God. And that even as we pray now, your heart is bubbling. You're saying, God, if you do not come down for me, I am literally lost. You are my last bus stop. Bus stop. I have no other shield but you. You are my shield. You are my protection. You are my place of refuge. You are my place of safety. I am running to you. Oh God, God manifest your glory. God is saying that today he will heal you and today he will turn the tables around. I love what Paul said to the, 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 the Romans. In the book of Romans 8.28, is the Bible says, God makes everything work for his good, for the good of those who love him. Now, the, the true interpretation or the true writing of this verse is, God makes everything work for the good of those who love him. In many biblical verses, it's written that uh, everything works for the good of those who love God. But please understand, things do not just work for your good by itself. There is an invisible hand that uh, remold the things. What the enemy meant for evil, God turns it and causes it to work for your good. I am here to announce to you in the name of Jesus that the very situation that the enemy had brought your way to cause you pain will turn and work for your good in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to read one scripture and pray for you. One scripture from the book of uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 61, verse 1, verse 2, and verse 3. Jesus Christ quoted the scriptures. It is powerful. What I'm reading to you now, it is not a story. It is not part of the chronicles of the kings. This, these are the writings of Isaiah, an outstanding man of God, a prophet like no other. 
He prophesied and said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. And hear this, to console those who mourn in Zion. The, the, the next sentence is where the Lord wants to prophetically minister to you. The next sentence says, To give them beauty for ashes, the well of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven, uh, heaviness, that they may be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. I want to go back to the earlier part of this verse. The earlier part of this verse is critical. The Bible says to console those who mourn in Zion. But the following sentence is yours. It concerns you. It is knitted together by God for you. God knows you. He cares for you. He says he will give you beauty for ashes. Now when we speak about ashes, we are talking about the residue that comes after the burning of a substance. When we speak about ashes, we are here referring to the residue that comes after the burning of uh, a substance normally in the word of god throughout the scriptures bible scholars from around the world will agree with me that uh, ashes symbolizes great pain and grief in the word of god we have seen ashes speaking about repentance but throughout consistently ashes symbolizes great pain and great grief you may be out there grieving. You may be in the pain. You may be in a place where you are asking yourself, God, why have you forsaken me? You hear of men and women receiving miracles and testimonies of all kind. And you are wondering, when will my time come? When will I also stand and say, God has turned my mourning into dancing? Every day I see my beloved standing to celebrate the power of God. Will my time ever come when I also stand up and say, Look what the Lord has done. He turned my morning into dancing. I was low, but now I am up. You are crying. Literally, when you go out, you put up a makeup smile. Your smile isn't true. You see, the situation of your life is so dark that it seems like uh, the enemy is closer than God when it comes to you. Your makeup smile is what you literally put on so you may fit in. Whenever you are alone, you remove your makeup smile. You put it on and you remove it. You put it off. And when you put it off, it is your... Self you, broken, in tears, in mourning. Your life, you may say, it is bitter. You don't remember the good days anymore. You don't remember the days that you stood and said, Lord, thank you for providing for me. You keep on giving to people, but nobody gives back to you. You care for the world. But in return, they spit on you. You have been good to everybody. You try your best at least. But many turn their back on you. Some reject you. You feel lonely. And worse, you feel lonely in the crowd. This is horrible. This is painful. Your Christian life literally is your hanging cold. You are hanging on it. Every day is a struggle. 
But I want to take you again to this verse, verse 3. For there is your freedom. This is what God is saying to you. He's giving you beauty for ashes. Your ashes symbolizes the pain that you are going through. Your ashes symbolizes the, the, the wound the enemy had uh, infliged on you. Your ashes symbolizes the anxiety you have. You have been diagnosed with uh, an impediment in your body. And it seems uh, horrible. You are going to pain and symptoms are, pump, are popping all over your body. I am standing here as an authorized man of God. The writings of the prophet Isaiah here is not just a, 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 a story that is telling us. He's speaking out of the Holy Ghost. He is a, a foretelling his people, the people of God, the word from the living God. This is the prophetic utterance of God. It was true for those yesterday. It is true for you and for me today. My beloved, your time of mourning is over. I say again, your time of mourning is over. I am seeing an old woman. You are seated there listening to me and uh, you're embracing this word. But uh, as you're embracing it, you are feeling coldness going through your body. You have been through a lot of pain. Your children pass on and uh, you remain as mother to their children. And every time you look at them, you know you can't really fend for them you can't really be the provider you can't fulfill the space and the void that their own parent have left behind and uh, you try your best every day hearing this word you are asking yourself i'm embracing this word but will it come to pass hear me mommy god is not a man that he may lie he makes everything beautiful in its time and that time you've been waiting for is now. I am seeing a young girl. You have been in a relationship. And out of your relationship, you have a child. But ever since the child was young, he, her father is a girl. Her father had turned, turned his back on both of you. He and they pretends to be a responsible father to the child. But uh, you have been hanging on the word, trusting that God is able to restore your relationship. Even when uh, you heard that uh, he had moved on in another relationship, you kept on uh, holding on because you know that nothing is impossible with God. God as serve is telling you, I am giving you beauty for ashes. This is transformation that is about to happen in your life in a few minutes. Transformation. You just need to open your heart and embrace it. God is about to turn your mourning into joy. God is about to change hard situations. There are people who have been crying for too long, too long. Heaven is looking down and God is saying, it is enough. This moment of darkness that had hit the entire world did but to expose the wickedness, not only of the world, but also falls and wickedness, the void in your own life. It is now that you are realizing that you are feeble, vulnerable, help. Right now you are crying and saying, Jehovah, I need you today more than ever. If you do not come for me, I don't know what will be of me. Men and women had pointed things at you. They had uh, rejected you and some of them accused you wrongly. Now I know how painful it is to be accused falsely. God had said in his word that he will deal harshly with those who go about lying and accusing the righteous falsely. It is painful. It causes you to bleed. It breaks your driving force. You literally get to a place where you do not want to wake up anymore. 
You do not see the meaning or the joy of uh, carrying on anymore. Many have uh, dropped down, thrown down the tower, quit on uh, the endeavors simply because of betrayal. I know how betrayal can be really used by the enemy to cut your destiny short. But I'm here to tell you, do not cry. For Jehovah in heaven has heard you. God has heard you. Ladies and gentlemen, God has the ability to turn every situation around. I know him. He has done it for me. I have seen him do the same for multitude of people. He is faithful in his word. God does not lie. He is Jehovah Jireh, the provider. He is Jehovah Rapha, the healer. He has never ceased to be the great physician. What no man can do for you, he is able to do for you. Do you believe him? He is the restorer. What is broken today will be restored. What is lost will be found. If you will open your heart to him. Oh beloved, I'm asking you to open your heart to a denomination. I am not here making a plea that you open your heart to a man. I am here speaking to you about your maker. The almighty God, the king of glory. He will never fail you. I say again, I am speaking to you about your maker. He has your back. He said, I know the plan that I have for you. God has a plan for you. It is true that nobody say it will be easy. And that you may be going through life experiencing winds and waves. You have come across mountains and valleys. But fear not. Even when you will find yourself in the lion den. God is the deliverer. He will shut the mouth of the lion for your sake. It doesn't matter what the enemy may do. They may throw you in the pit and say there you will die. But God has a rescue plan for you. You may be finding yourself on your way to Egypt sold by your own brothers to be a slave in a foreign land. Sons and daughters of your fathers have betrayed you. They have mocked you. They have rejoiced over your shortfalls. They have knitted and orchestrated a plan to see you gone. Now, with the promises of God in your heart, in your life, you are bound, sold to become a merchandise in Egypt. Every step you are taking far from the promise God has made is bringing you to confusion. You're asking yourself, Lord, you promised me. You promised to bless me. You promised to show up in my life. But the reality in front of me are contrary to the promises made by you. Hear me. He never loses control. Your God is a faithful God. Even when you and I are unfaithful, he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. He said, I am that I am. The eternal self-existing God, the uncreated creator. He said, I am with you every day till the end of time. Because he who watches over you neither sleeps nor slumbers. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am speaking to you. Do not lose hope. God is with you. For even in Egypt, he will make everything work for the good of you. You will look back and say, what you meant for evil, God has made it for my good. Every stone thrown at you, every evil situation that has happened, God will use it and mold it to work for your good.
Get ready for a miracle is about to happen to you as I speak. I speak as an authorized man of God, a simple instrument in his hand. And this is not a general message. I am here quoting the scriptures and speaking out of the abundance of what the Lord has laid in my spirit for you. For something is about to happen. This word concerns you. You are watching me. This word concerns you. I am not just speaking in a, to a congregation. No. This is a personal telemed word for you, child of God. Let he who has in here hear what the Spirit says. Instead of ashes, is giving you beauty. Get ready. God is about to use the very situation that caused you pain to bring you joy. He dumped you yesterday. Today, as God will open his heavens for you, you will meet somebody who will be not just a consolation or a comfort. This person, oh yeah, I'm speaking in the Holy Ghost, will be a promotion. He will be a value-added investment in your life. As you embrace what God has set before you, you will turn and look back and thank God for what seemed to be evil yesterday. Today to you, you will look and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for delivering me from what I thought was my house, but yet it was a prison. What God is about to do for you, my beloved in the Lord, is so beautiful that it will cause what you called nice yesterday to look completely ugly. What you had looked and admired yesterday will look ugly. You know, ugly, ugly is not good, scary. Ugly is ugly. You are about to embrace what is high. Those who mocked you will look at you and say, what just happened? God is about to do it. He will use the very pain of yesterday, the very situations of yesterday, the very thing that a man used to pull you down. He will use the same for your elevation. I say again, I am speaking under the anointing of God. I am operating under the supreme anointing of God. And as I declare these words over you, so shall it be, it cannot be otherwise. He's giving you beauty for ashes. This means two things. Instead of ashes, is giving you beauty. Instead of Heshes is giving you beauty, meaning that he's sparing you from experiencing grief and pain. Instead of grief and pain coming your way, God has stopped it and he has given you beauty. Oh, I'm here to say, get ready for good news. Get ready for good news. Who am I speaking to? Get ready for good news. Somebody lifts your hand wherever you are. Say, I am ready for good news. If you have a phone, look at your phone and say, I am ready for good news. You're about to receive a call. There will be a mail that will come your way. There will be a knock at the door. Somebody is about to tell you something. That I will signify that the Lord has given you his glory. He has shown his power in your life. Receive it and it becomes yours. Seal it in the name of Jesus. So the first thing that this verse says, instead of ashes is giving you beauty. And it also means on the other side that for is giving you beauties for ashes, meaning that you had already ashes. You are right now in pain. It did not stop the pain from coming. Some of you are saying that, oh, I thank God for those who are not yet sick. And God is saying that I will prevent sickness from coming to them. But what about me? I've been diagnosed with an incurable disease. 
My life is painful. What about me? I lost loved ones. I lost my spouse. I lost my child in a very horrific way. What about me? My husband left me. My wife left me. I am already in ashes. I am experiencing grief and pain. In my house, there is no good news. Sadness covers us just like the sky covers the earth. What about me? This same verse means God is removing ashes and replacing it with beauty. Makorobo sete. If God beguiled today, before you cross to the next day, right at the gates of time, midnight tonight, Buri Kakobo Sheke, I am prophesying and speaking the utterances of God. God will turn things around. Table is about to turn around for you. God is about to do something good for you. In the name of Jesus. Marebeshia. Makoshotokoboshia. Marebe katasere. Mashokoloboshia. Guria kalabashebe. Maromo soto. Makerebe sinta. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray with me. Take a moment and lift your hand and pray. Speak to God. I want you to trust God that uh, He will do what He say He will do because His God is. Uh, uh, unchanging, unchangeable. He is the first and the last. He is the beginning and is the end. I want you to pray and I want you to trust God, trust in His Word. He is a good God. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I honor you. I magnify you for your glory, for your glory. Kababa sete. Maseke mama masete kababo soto. When you're glorifying God now, I want you to also speak to him for your situation. Ashes are no longer yours. Remember I say, ashes symbolizes great grief. It symbolizes pain in your life. God is turning situations around for you. He's doing it because he loves you. He's doing it because... He loves you. If only all of us will understand the love of God, we will know how to bow in adoration to give Him all the glory. Karababo sete. Pray, speak to God. Mama seke rebeke ya baba shoto. Ma ke rebe shika. Lord, I bless you. Give Him glory. Give Him praise. He's good. He's good. Is good, is awesome. Hallelujah. Masete. I want to I pray for families. If you are there with your families, I want to pray for families. I am stretching my hand and praying that God may break the yoke of the enemy. Every plan of Satan that kept families bound is broken now in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of the enemy that kept men and women bound in your family is broken. There are families that are suffering generation curses. Generation curses. The hand, the hand of the enemy is so oppressive that sickness, disease is all over everyone in the family. It seems like everybody is dying the same way, falling on the same uh, sword. God is destroying the works of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am praying, receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. Marobo sokoto boshia kana masete yobo sata. In your family, nobody gets married. I break that curse in the name of Jesus. I say I break that curse in the name of Jesus. I am seeing God embracing his sons and daughters. I am seeing the glory and the grace of God manifesting in the lives of his sons and daughters.
May the blessings of God come upon you. I want to pray that God may remove shame in your life when it comes to your finances. You are a man. You are a woman. You are trusting God that he may elevate you. But uh, so far, your dignity has been dragged in the mud simply because your hands are empty. God is saying, as I pray for you, his glory will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of the enemy in Jesus' name. I am speaking in the Holy Ghost, releasing the grace and the glory of God over your life. May you be blessed with the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus, I see somebody praying. You are praying that God may touch a loved one who is sick. Your loved one who is sick and you are trusting that God may break the yoke of the enemy. Now, please understand, I stand to speak not what I feel, but I stand to speak what the Lord is saying. What God is saying is established. If you believe in it, so shall it be. I was knitted together differently. God used the different material to put me together. If I live, it's no longer I who live. And if I speak, it's not I who speak. God is answering your prayer. The reason why I speak in this way, telling you I am anointed differently because I need you to understand that words that are coming out of my mouth are for you or else you will undermine what God is doing and uh, overlook what God is doing simply because you think that uh, everybody who speaks uh, speaks the same. My name is Af Lukau. I was born differently. So I speak to you, beloved, on behalf of God. You are praying for a loved one who is suffering, who is in pain and bedridden. God is saying, as I speak now, his angels are touching him and God is turning situations around. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be, it cannot be otherwise. I am praying and I'm seeing a man and a woman in the 70s. The, the, the tears and the pain that you had gone through, the Lord say he will Give you beauty for ashes. I am seeing a big family, but children dying. Children dying. A boy died. A girl died. And not too long ago, a couple of months ago, you buried a daughter. She died of breast cancer. You've been asking yourself, Lord, Lord, what is happening? Now, I am seeing you in Zambia. I am seeing you not uh, too far near uh, Kitwe and Ndola. I'm seeing Mufulira, Mufulira. You are in Mufulira. And God is showing me Mama Machete, Kambalenge, Kambalenge Street. I am seeing a street called Kambalenge Street. In Kambalenge Street, that is where you stay. You, 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 you have a business. I am seeing buses. It's like a transportation business, transport company. Buses going around the copper belt, moving and doing business in the copper belt and beyond. I am seeing your heart of giving. You have been giving, giving to orphan. You're a good man. You and your wife had done so many good things to many people. You have, gave, you have given, you have given, you gave houses to orphans. In fact, with the Catholic churches, you have been there to support not only the church, I am seeing that uh, you have been supporting with the church all the charitable, lowable project of the church, all the beautiful project that the church had embarked on in society. You have been there, you did what you could do. I'm seeing Kambalenge. I am in Mufuri, Mufulira. 
I am in Zambia. I am close to Kitwe and Dola. I am seeing a man, T H O M A S, Thomas Kalimachi. Thomas Kalimachi. That's your name, Thomas Kalimachi. You have done so many good things, but uh, it seems like a life has not been so good. You, you are crying in your heart for seeing your children leaving you. Those who are left, you are praying for protection. Those who remain, you are asking God to keep them alive. You say, I have grown and my wife has grown. Why is it that we will bury our own children? It has been the work of the enemy. You see, you are surrounded by very wicked people. Thomas, Mr. Thomas, or I'll say Papa Thomas. You are surrounded by so many wicked people. They say Kalimachi with joy with a, 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 a smile, but in their heart, there is wickedness. Some of them in secret had accused you of witchcraft. They had accused you of being behind the pain. Some of the people around you have been going through. They have said that uh, you have uh, succeed, succeeded using things uh, that are not of God. But the devil is a liar. The Lord is visiting you, visiting your children. I am here in Johannesburg. I have not been in your compound, but I am seeing what is happening. I have not met you before, but the Lord knows you. And it seems like at this day, this word is for you. It's giving you beauty out of ashes. I am standing to break the yoke of the enemy over you. I am standing to break the yoke of the enemy over your family. Mommy, the glory of God is about to manifest. God wants you to take your burden and put it on him. You see, I am seeing you with hard blood pressure. And the kind of hard blood pressure that I'm seeing is being a uh, uh, feed by worries concerns overthinking i am praying now may the lord god do what only he can do i stretch my hand and i bless you with the blessings of god every one of you speak to god now speak to god speak to him speak to jehovah if god will do it for mr thomas kalimanchi he will do it for you if God will do it for somebody in Pakistan, he will do it for you. Across Johannesburg, AMI, speak to God. Glorify his name because he is a merciful God. Spirit of the living God, I thank you for Jesus Christ. I thank you for giving us this time. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for what you're doing, O oh Lord God. Spirit of the living God, glorify Jesus Christ in the words pronounced today. May these words come to pass in Jesus' name. With the blessing, I bless you all. May it be well with you. Now, before we close this telecast, if you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ, but you want today to commit yourself and become a devoted child of God, I want to give you an opportunity an opportunity to embrace Jesus Christ, to open your heart, to invite him inside. If this is, if this is your desire, if, it's this, if this is really the desire of your heart, will you just say this simple prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus, I heard your voice. Today I take a decision to open my heart. I invite you, come inside me, be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive my sins. Write my name in the book of the Lamb of God. Say, devil, I am now a child of God. I am God's property. I disassociate myself from you, from your work, and I command you to stay away from me. 
in Jesus' name. Now say, Holy Spirit, give me the power to pick up my cross and follow Jesus. Teach me, Holy Spirit, to be a true child of God. I receive salvation today in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, well, I applaud for all of you who have prayed this prayer, who have made the commitment to begin to follow Jesus. To all of you out there, God is giving you beauty for ashes. Trust God and that you'll see his glory. My name is Alf Lukau, and I approve this message. Shalom. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on amitv.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukau on all social media platforms at Alf Lukau.